What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We are here deep within Motor City, Detroit, Michigan for a first look of something that maybe some of you have forgotten about from Chevrolet. This is it. This is your totally redesigned from top to bottom 2024 Chevrolet Trax. But before we get into this smaller sized crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. The Trax. It actually has been around since 2013. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, Joe, my grandmother had a 2015 Trax. What's up with that? I thought they first came out in 2015 because she told me it was the first year. Well, guess what? Your grandmother is correct. Technically, 2015 was the first year that the Trax was brought to the United States. But guess what? On a global scale, it made its appearance in 2013, first seen at believe it or not, the Paris Auto Show, and then eventually here at the Detroit Auto Show. Now, of course, the auto industry is still hot and heavy when it comes to SUVs of all types. And Chevrolet, I think, is taking the perfect opportunity to kind of reinvent, reshape most of their lineup. Now, a lot of people, of course, are focusing on electrification. We were at the Detroit Auto Show and brought you the Equinox EV and, of course, the Blazer SS EV. And if you haven't seen those, I'll leave those links at the end of this video. But what I want to find out is if you're looking for that smaller crossover SUV, but you don't want to sacrifice everything, looks, versatility, room, and technology, is this new Chevrolet Trax, is this the best new SUV to buy? And of course, at the end of the day, is it worth the price? Let's go ahead. Let's find out with this Chevrolet Trax. Right off the bat, you're going to notice a new shape. Not only has this been recreated with different style, but it is actually a larger crossover SUV. Still a subcompact. So we're still talking subcompact. Remember, a compact is going to be the Equinox. This trim is going to be part of that top trim setup. It's the active trim. And we have an all new color. Now, at the front of the business, you'll notice a more grown up. And when I say grown up, I'm not talking about in a boring way. I'm talking about in a more mature way with the style. You'll notice that you have your LED daytime running lamps. Love the way that they're taking that overall style cues from the blazer and kind of sprinkling it throughout their whole lineup. In the lower portion, you have these large, very large headlight housings, LED projector beam headlight in there. And I like the way that they blacked everything out on the interior and just a little bit of gloss black. And the great news is, it's not trying to look like anything. It's a nice style to the overall shape. And you'll notice that extra width. Not only is this Trax wider, it's actually longer and lower. Plus it's got a longer wheelbase for better driving as you're going down the road, whether you're on a twisty bit or on the highway. On the lower portion, you'll notice on the active trim, you have a little bit of this beautiful darked out black chrome finish and some flat black. Now, as we come across the front end of the business, you'll notice how, like I said, taking styling cues from the Blazer, which remember is a larger crossover SUV and bringing it into the tracks. We have that iconic Chevrolet bow tie going all the way back to Louis Chevrolet. Of course, you're gonna have full functionality, gloss black in the center, but I'm really, really digging. Like I said, on this lower portion, I like the dark chrome finish. Very, very nice on the style. Now. Of course, with the Chevrolet Trax, you'll have five different trims to choose from. Of course, the Active is gonna be residing at the top along with the two RS, which we'll talk about that in a second. Now, when we get up onto that low slung hood, you see some really clever body style. I love the way that they take the peak right from the center of the front fascia up onto the hood. And then you'll notice how on both sides, it curves perfectly right into those A pillars. Now, as I come around the bend, you are gonna have some options when it comes to wheels, and it all coincides with what trim you go with. On this particular active trim, you're gonna get the largest wheel. This is gonna be, uh, actually, not the largest, I'll take that back. 17 is your smallest, this is 18, and then there is a 19 inch wheel option. I do love the way they got the gloss black, matches nicely with the grill, and instead of just doing a boring five spoke design, they actually give some nice sort of like decorative style to it and also that overall flow with this active trim. Now, if you're wondering what is the size of this wheel and tire setup, 
you're looking at 225 on the width, a nice meaty 55 series sidewall. And remember, this is going to be that front wheel drive setup on this active trim, a little bit of flat black, nothing too crazy. I'm glad that they didn't carry it any higher into the fender. And you'll also notice that indentation that kind of is very strong and prominent. And then it fades away as you go towards the front door. Now coming down the side of the vehicle, active trim, you're going to have the gloss black on your mirror caps. You could see the size. Remember I'm six feet tall. This is about four inches lower. And then you have that longer wheelbase. What is that going to do? It's going to give you a more comfortable ride down the road. Plus it's going to give you more passenger volume. As we go down the side, instead of having just regular plain Jane flat black roof rails, you have these nice sort of like a metallic gray finish. Of course, you have your sunroof on this active trim, color matched on the door handles. And then the way that the trim goes around the fender and then flows into the lower sill area, very, very sporty and definitely lives up to its name active. This does look like a very sporty twist to the tracks. And like I said, I think a lot of people have forgotten about this crossover SUV, especially with the trailblazer and everything else. But I really think especially when we get to the inside, you'll see that this is coming into its own. Now working our way towards the rear, nice body line actually comes off right where the door handle is and then just curves up very crisp into that rear quarter window. I like the proportions. I really feel that this is a smart direction to go in. And if you park it next to a trailblazer, they don't look the same really. Yes, there's Chevrolet styling cues and that makes sense, but I'm really feeling this overall sort of like an urban city vibe with this tracks. Now, as we come around the tail end of the business, you'll notice that long low roof spoiler. They integrated the third brake light very cleanly. And of course, with most of these subcompact crossover SUVs, you're going to have the exposed wiper. They're not going to go ahead and tuck that underneath. So we're not going to zonk it. Definitely looking at the competition. They all have their exposed wiper. Now, one of my favorite parts is check out the taillights. Look at the way they wrap around, sort of in that reverse C formation. Love the style. Simple on the badges. We don't have to go too crazy. You got your Trax badge, of course, the Chevrolet bow tie, and our active trim. Now, as we kind of spin it around to the back portion, just like up front, coming down to ground level, we got some flat black, and we have some nice dark chrome finish. Really am digging some of the style, especially on the lower portion, the way that it kind of comes to this area in the center gives it nice proportions but why don't we go ahead let's pop the hood and see what's powering the new track right, guys we got the hood popped obviously it does have a prop rod and one of the things you're going to notice is this push obviously towards efficiency yes there's lots of talk and a lot of movement towards electrification but there's still plenty of efficiency left out of an internal combustion engine and underneath the hood what do we have there on this new track you have a 1.2 liter turbocharged inline three producing 137 horsepower 162 pound feet of torque the best news of the day and thank you chevrolet is that there's no cvt it's a six speed automatic transmission now because this is the first look and we have been granted access to this underground layer we're actually about 10 feet under the earth's surface to get access to this tracks we don't have all the data on things like mpgs obviously zero to 60 and things like that. But of course, after we get the first look, eventually we will have the first drive. But why don't we go ahead? It's not just about the outside. It's definitely not just about underneath the hood. Let's get into the interior of the new tracks and see what big things are coming in smaller packages. All right, guys, we're inside this all new 2024 Chevy tracks. And I'm telling you right now, I don't think I've ever been inside a track that has had this much room. That is definitely the truth on that. Now, of course, being in this underground layer, Lori wanted me to let you know that we are doing our best for the glare, but we got the spotlights on us. We're working it as much as we can. But I know you're saying to yourself, Joe, I'm actually liking the look so far of this tracks. I've been wanting something uh, you know, a little bit smaller. My kids have moved out of the house. I'm now going to the city a lot more. What's the price on one of these? So obviously five different trims. Your gateway, which is the LS trim, is gonna be MSRP right around $21,495. If you go with the active, which is gonna be the top trim, or a 2RS, which we'll talk more about what that is in a little bit, 
you're looking right around an MSRP of around $25,000. But let's see what you're getting and what is new for the tracks to the door panels. I'm liking the clean style. A lot of what we've seen in other Chevy vehicles is now making its way to the tracks. So you're gonna have that flat black plastic up top, but the great news is look at that lighter gray with the light neon green stitching. Really makes the door panel pop. I'm so happy that there's no gloss black around the switch gear. So you don't have to worry about getting fingerprints all over the place and having the FBI come after you. Even the textured, the way they did that textured design on the interior, very classy, very sporty without going too over the top. Now, in that door pocket, you easily could fit two Detroit hot dogs and a bottle of root beer to wash it down. But going from the door panel to the dash, check it out. Love the way they did the AC vents with that wonderful design on the inner side of it. And then you have that metallic gray finish along the center section here with more of that design that they took from the door panel. And then I hope you're ready for something big inside a subcompact crossover SUV. We have the optional 11 inch infotainment system. Standard is gonna be eight inch. This is large and in charge. Of course, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, full touchscreen capability, very easy and intuitive to use. And then the best part is it's got all the information that you want that you need, including extra gauges, which is a nice extra touch. Now you'll notice how they blended the other set of AC vents, clean in the center, keep working our way down. We got our standard AC controls with three stages of heated seating, which is great. And then working all the way down to the bottom, we have a 12 volt USB-C, USB-A and wireless charging. This is gonna control that six speed automatic some gloss black, some silver, two cup holders, a nice little cubby here. You could easily put that baseball that's signed by Ken Griffey Jr. when he was playing for the Royals, just put that right there. Not too soft on the armrest, so I am gonna have to zonk that. I wish there was a little bit of padding or something, but you open this up and you actually can use this as your super big gulp holder. So if you can't fit in the cup holder, use that in there. And then of course we have our Chevrolet key fob, just like before, good news is we got remote start, nice little extra option there. And then the seats in the active trim, it's got the active embroidery, love the lighter gray finish, all the stitching, the piping, the materials, manual assist for the passenger. On the driver's side, I have electric assist since I'm the captain of this smaller size ship and you have your sunroof on this active trim. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of the 2024 tracks. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. Now remember, I'm six feet tall, and like I said earlier, I'm very impressed with the amount of room that's in the passenger area, especially behind the wheel, but it makes sense because like I said, this is a larger track. Now you have your seat controls, easy to get to within fingertip reach. I love the way they give you the lower lumbar for the driver's side, and then the steering wheel, they did a great job. Nice leather all the way around, clean on the stitch work, blacked out on the Chevrolet bow tie. You got flat black on the buttons. You do have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then guess what? You get a digital gauge display. Really love the contemporary look without just looking like everything else. Clean, clear, concise, and how it flows nicely into the infotainment system area. But why don't we go ahead? It's not just about the people that sit up front. That would be selfish of us to think it's just about us. Let's get into the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like this larger track. All right guys, back seat time in the tracks. And like I said, before when you heard subcompact, that meant that you had to make a lot of sacrifices, especially on who's able to sit in the back. I'm still six feet tall and my head is not touching the inside of the headliner. On the backs of the seats, you're getting that same wonderful material all the way around, large enough pocket to where you could easily put, I would say six, 45 records. So 45 speed records, you can put those in there because obviously we're in Detroit, it's a motor city, but it's also with music as well. In the back, they didn't forget about your passengers being connected. You got a USB-C, a USB-A, and they remembered the Twinkie location. So you could fit easily four Twinkies in the center spot. Like I said, when it comes to leg room, feeling good. The one thing I'm missing that I am 
going to have to zonk is that there's no center armrest. So that to me is a little bit of a bummer. I want to be able to rest my arm. I guess the good news is, is that have your kid brother or sister back here and use them for an armrest. But why don't we go ahead, more room in here. I'm going to probably guesstimate there's more room in the cargo area. Let's go ahead and check it out in this track. All right, guys, time to get into that cargo area. And of course, like I said, being a subcompact crossover SUV, a lot of people might say, hey, it's too small. There's not enough room in the trunk area for my junk. Well, guess what? You might be proved wrong with this new tracks. Easy, nice lift on the back. And what you're going to be greeted to, what I like is a wide area, but also a tall area. Now, obviously, we have that security shade in place. But if you go to Costco to get that huge barrel of pickles, because you're having that pickle eating competition for your birthday, you can make room. Obviously, the seats do the 60-40 tango split. Those are going to go down. And then when you have that ability to remove this, that will give you more space. Plus, what I'm also digging is the space on the driver's side, nice and large for a gallon of chocolate milk. But while we go ahead, they're telling us we got to wrap this one up. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap up this first look with the Chevrolet Trax. All right, guys, it's about that time where we're wrapping up this first look. I definitely want to thank everybody here at Chevrolet for allowing us access to the new track so that we could bring it to you. But guess what? Before we just wrap it up, I want to show you the one that's been behind us. Now, like I said, there's five different trims to the tracks. The other trim that I think is going to be very popular besides this active, of course, is the RS. Now, when we say RS, we're talking about Rally Sport, and that is going to give us that extra style. So when we look at the front of the business, you'll notice that you're still getting, of course, the same lighting setup, but you'll see how things are a little different when it comes to the grill area. Of course, you got your RS badge. Chevy does some great work with their badge work, especially when you look throughout the years what badges like SS means, RS, and everything in between. The other big thing that really makes this extra sporty, like I told you before, you have three wheel choices when it comes to size. 17, 18, well, guess what? We got the big ones. This is the 19-inch wheel looking super sharp, and you can see they really put some extra creativity and design work into making this wheel unique. Love the machined aluminum, that metallic, dark, grayish black color really makes it pop. I can't wait to see this in the sun, and that really is going to allow this vehicle to be that sportier option for the tracks. But like I said, going with the tracks, you have your different choices, but if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Has Chevy done enough to the 2024 tracks to really make it that sub compact crossover SUV that you're just yearning to get behind the wheel of? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We definitely got to thank Lori working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.